Hey guys, Spino Dude here, and today we're getting into the second batch of figures for the hashtag How I Safari campaign. So before we start the video, I want to send out a big thank you to Maid from Safari Limited for supplying me with these beautiful figures. I cannot wait to get through and review all of them. So today, guys, we are going to be featuring this model. So Marvin, bring it out. Thank you, Marvin. So here we have the first figure from the second batch, and it is the beautiful Safari Limited Tappy Jara. Now this is an older figure from the Wild Safari line, but it still is a beautiful piece, and I cannot wait to take a closer look at it. Tappy Jara is one of my favorite pterosaurs just because of its really unique skull and crest. So why don't we get cracking and start with the review. Before we start taking a closer look at the figure, here are a few quick facts about Tappy Jara itself. Tappy Jara Imperator means means old being emperor. It was a species of flying reptile or pterosaur that was from Brazil in the Cretaceous period. Its wingspan could be up to 16 feet across. Tapijara was a piscivore or a fish eater, but some scientists think it may have eaten fruit as well. Now there are several different species of Tapijara with different crest ornamentations on their heads, but this particular subspecies, Tapijara imperator, has been actually given its own genius more recently, Tupendactylus Imperator. This renaming of the Tapijara subspecies happened much after this figure was made though. So this model is currently viewed as a Tupendactylus figure in the dinosaur community. So without further ado guys, let's start taking a closer look at this Cretaceous pterosaur. So we're going to start off at the head and you can see the beautiful colors that Safari Limited have put into the sculpt. I really love the dark royal blue color transitioning into the white on the snout. And you can see some black and dark brown highlights with the glossy yellow painted eye there that looks really nice. I really love the mixing of colors on the crest on the back of the skull here. You can see that they use the yellow as a base color going over it with oranges and reds and even some magenta colors. I really like these protrudences in the skin here as well. They look like veins going through the crest. So moving down into the neck you can see how the black and royal blue colors transition into the tan and brown color here. You can see the muscular chest area there where the neck and the arms meet up to connect to the body. That looks really great. Moving up into its left wing you can see some really nice toned musculature and detail in the arm there that looks really nice. The hand has been sculpted and painted with some glossy black claws there that looks really nice. And you can see the extended fourth finger that pterosaurs have going down here in this nice brown color stretching the skin that makes the wing. The wing itself is detailed very nicely with this dull yellow color transitioning into the lighter brown color which then transitions into the dark almost blackish brown color. So flipping over onto the top of the left wing I really like the detail on the top of the wings. You can see how the brown color is really prominent here and it transitions right into this dull yellow color. I really like all the toned musculature in the arm there that looks really nice. The back of the torso is detailed really nicely as well and you can see the little tail that Tappy Jar had on the back there. Moving into the top of the right wing it's very similar in detail to the left wing on this pterosaur. You can see the other hand there with the three glossy black painted claws that looks really nice. More lovely detailing and toned musculature in the arm there. You can see the greatly detailed extended fourth finger on this side of the pterosaur here looks really nice. Flipping over to the underside of the right wing you can see some more nice detail underneath here. Very consistent detail and a consistent color scheme as well. Very naturalistic. Moving on to the back of the tapi jar quickly you can see the feet folded back in a flight position because this pterosaur is sculpted in a flying pose which is really cool. You can see the five digits on each foot there. Those look really nice. Each has a glossy black painted claw on the tip. Looks really good. And I do really like the detail on the top of the feet there. That looks really nice. I also really nice tone my musculature in the legs and nice detail as well. One thing I want to point out about this figure is that it has a great play feature for children. The wings are very flexible and sturdy so that you can fold them up and down and make it look like your tapijara is flying. I think that's a great addition to the model's play value for children. Also here's a quick look at the other side of that beautiful head sculpt. It's very similar to the other side. So in terms of scientific accuracy with this figure, looking at it as a tupendactylus and not as a tapijara, I think it's really good. This figure was made quite Quite some time before Tappy Jara Imperator was given its own genius of Tupendactylus Imperator. So I think it's great for what they were aiming for. I really love the brown naturalistic colors on the body and then the really bright vibrant colors on the head. It looks really beautiful and believable at the same time. So yeah, great job Safari Limited. I really love this figure. So you're probably wondering just how big this figure is, so Marvin, bring out the ruler. 
Thank you, Marvin. All right, we have our trusty flexi ruler now, so let's give this tapijara a measure. So in terms of the length from the tip of the beak all the way to the back of the feet, we are looking at exactly four inches. And in terms of the height, the highest point, which is the top of the crest on the back of the skull, we are looking at two and a half inches. Well, we are going to spin him around quick to measure his wingspan. So from wingtip to wingtip, it is a whopping 10 inches. For comparison, I'd like to bring in an ornithopod from the Cretaceous period. It's the 2016 Iguanodon from Safari Limited. If you want to see the review for this one, link is down below. I think these two figures look great next to each other, although Iguanodon would have been much bigger than the Tapijara or the Tupendactylus as it's now reclassified, but they still look great on display, and I definitely recommend picking these two up. Next up for comparison, here is the Safari Limited Tapijara next to the King of the Dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. If you want to see the review for this figure, link is down below. I think these two figures look great next to each other. They're both from the Cretaceous period, but I think it's very unlikely that they would have met up. Tapijara is from Brazil and T-Rex is from North America, but they still look great on display. Also, T-Rex would have been much larger than Tapijara, but that doesn't mean you can't put them next to each other on your shelf. And finally, for comparison, here is the Safari Limited Tapijara next to one of my favorites from Safari Limited. It's a beautiful 2016 Plesiosuchus. If you want to see the review for this figure, link is down below. Now, Plesiosuchus was a seagoing reptile from the Jurassic period, and Tapijara was a terror saw from the Cretaceous, so they couldn't have met up, but they still look great on display next to each other. We reviewed the Plesiosuchus to kick off the hashtag Howie Safari campaign, so make sure you go check out that video. Well, there we go, guys. That was today's look at the Safari Limited Tapijara. Even though this is one of the older figures from Safari Limited, I think it is still a great piece for display. It has really nice details and a really nice naturalistic, but so exotic color scheme. If you want to pick up this figure, go to www.safarilimited.com. Be sure to check out their other fantastic fantastic products. If you want to learn more about the hashtag Howie Safari campaign, go to their Facebook page and other social media. Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe, and be sure to leave a comment to tell me your opinion on this model. So thank you so much guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.